Dave here with a brand new lesson for you. Today we're going to look at Play That Funky Music by Wild Cherry and I'm going to take you through all the rhythm guitar parts for this song. Really popular one, uh, had a few requests to do this one. So I'll start off with the intro and verse riff. Right, the notes are you play two on the open sixth string E. Then you go over to the D and play the second fret, then open back onto two, over to the A, and we're going to play the open string, then hammer on the second fret, and then over to the D, play the open D, and then play the second fret, like that. Now the whole thing, he sounds like he picks it quite hard. So it's got a bit of a snappier sort of sound to it. Also, it's very staccato. So I do a little bit of palm muting, particularly on the uh, the bottom E string. But the other thing to get that effect is as soon as you've played the note, put your pick straight back on the string and you'll get that nice short sound that we're after. Picking wise, most of it's down until you get to the fourth string. So it's kind of down, 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 hammer. And then you're going to go up on the D and then down on the second fret. And that helps to kind of keep the timing of the riff. Like that. Okay, so that's a single note riff. You hear that four times at the beginning and then a second guitar part comes in and this is more of a chord, choppy thing so that happens over the top of the riff so for that we play an E9 chord so we're going to bar across the 7th fret on strings E, B and G then hold down the 6th fret on the D 7th fret on the A gives us that classic dominant ninth chord shape and it's going to go like this so we're going to go down and up and then cut the chord off for the second half of that beat so that's beat one then beat two we play it one more time then move the shape down a half step or down a fret like that then beat three we come back up and then we're going to move up two frets to play an F sharp 9. It's going to be with an up, and it's on the last 16th note, so it's kind of like like that. Then we're just going to move down a, a fret to an F9 and do that as a downstroke. So if I put it together slowly, That's the kind of spacing that you get. For the second bar, he starts the same way, E9, down and up, with a little rest, then B2, doing the E9 to the D flat, oh sorry, D sharp 9 or E flat 9, whatever way you want to talk about that. Back up to E. Now this time he does the upstroke on the E and then slides up to the F9, F sharp 9 and then does another upstroke, so it's kind of up, slide, and then up. That bar sounds like this. Like that. I'll put the two bars together nearer the tempo. So you get that 
sort of rhythm. Okay, that's the verse section. Okay, the bridge is simply an E9 chord and we're going to play it on the last two sixteenth notes of each beat. So you kind of get a, a 1E and then you play on the ander. So it's like 1E, 1E, like that. That's the rhythm. Just play it across the beat and it's just a down up stroke. Uh, and I always put kind of a little mute in between those strums to ch keep it nice and choppy, nice and short. So you're kind of going 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E like that. Up to tempo. And it's just that all the way through the bridge part, building up to the chorus. A G9 chord, um, so I'm going up to the 10th fret now with my second finger playing that shape. Uh, beat one, you just down up, down up. Beat two, you play a down stroke on the two end, and then on beat three, you play an up stroke on the one E, basically second 16th note, so uh, as an up stroke. And then on beat four, you play an A9 at the 12th fret, nice and cut off, and then go down a fret for an A flat nine. So you get this. So it does it for four bars. Um, the fifth bar is the same except it misses out that very last chord. So it's just. So it finishes on the A9 basically. That buys you a bit of time to get down to here. Now this is basically. It's, it's, it's a B flat 9 chord really. When you hear it over the bass, you're going to get this. So the way I play that is that I bar on the first fret on the E, B and G strings and I play the third fret on the D, like that. And in this bar we go down, up, down, up on beat one and then on the second half of beat two, down, up. In beat three, two downs, kind of staccato so you kind of relax the chord in between each drum. And then beat four, just down up the first two sixteenth notes. So if I play the rhythm slowly, that'll make more sense. Like that. And then uh, the next bar, you're just playing an E minor chord. Now to play a regular E minor, you hold down the second fret on the D and the B strings. But when you hit on the record, I think he's only really playing the first four strings. So if you want to, you could just, just do that. Okay, that's the E minor chord, and it just, you just play it on beat one and it rings for four beats. And then he moves to a B7 sharp nine chord, the Hendrix chord. Again, you're gonna strum it once on beat one and let it ring for four beats. Um, that shape is 3rd fret on the B, 2nd on the G, 1st on the D, 2nd on the A string. Like that. Um, I'll play through that one more time, the entire chorus at a slow tempo. A 
that's it. And then it just goes back into the um, the intro riff to carry on the song. Okay. Well, they're all the main rhythm guitar parts for this song. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you for one real soon.